chapter 4 soil forming minerals so introduction minerals are natural occurring solid with a definite chemical composition and crystal structure soil structures are composed of atoms having an orderly and regular arrangement when molten magma solidifies different elements present in them freely arrange in accordance with the attractive forces and geometric form Silica tetrahedron is the fundamental building blocks for the formation of different minerals. Different silicate minerals are orthosilicate, enosilicate, phyllosilicate, and tectosilicates. There are non-silicate minerals also. These are different oxide, carbonate, sulfate, phosphate, etc. Minerals that are original component of rock are called primary minerals, delpar, mica, etc. Minerals that are formed from changes in primary minerals and rock rocks are called secondary minerals, clay minerals. Those minerals that are chief constituent of rocks are called as essential minerals, felspar, pyroxene, mica, etc. And those which are present in small quantities whose presence or absence will not alter the properties of the rocks are called accessory minerals, example is tourmaline, magnetite, etc. Minerals are natural occurring inorganic solid homogeneous substances composed of atoms having an orderly and regular arrangement with definite chemical composition and characteristic geometric form as quartz, orthoclase, calcite, olivine, and gypsum. Classification of minerals. Minerals can be classified on the basis of their amounts, mode of origin, composition, and specific gravity are given below. So first we can see that primary minerals. When a mineral arises from the cooling and solidification of a molten mass is called primary mineral, as for example, orthoclase, felspar, plagiocase, felspar, and through anotite, felspar, quartz, hornblade, muscovite, biotite, and agite. Secondary minerals, when it arises through the metamorphism or weathering of primary or other pre existing minerals, it is called secondary mineral. The examples are calcite. Magnesite, dolomite, syndrite, gypsum, apatite, limonite, hematite, gypsite. Then you know that uh, it is a silicate mineral, kaolinite, montmorillonite, and hydrous mica, all are silicate clay minerals. So, classification of minerals. So, here you see that there will be a difference between primary versus secondary minerals. So here the details have been given. Classification of minerals. So there are uh, eight minerals and uh, each mineral has been given the examples. So we can see details in uh, next slides. So here you can see that there are uh, eight groups on the basis of the chemical composition. So first is silicates. They are the these are the salt of silicic acid. The example are muscovite, biotite, epidot, orthoclase, geolite, olivine, and amphibol. The second one is native elements. The mineral of this group are made up only one element that is graphite, diamond and sulfur. Third one is oxide, quad, hematite, geothite, limonite, magnetite, pyrolusite, rutile, then gypsite. So it is oxide, iron oxide, then uh, um, iron oxide, pyrolusite, manganese oxide, then titanium oxide, then aluminum oxide. Then sulphate, so the example are gypsum, barite, then gypsum and hydrite. So
So when there is a water molecule in gypsum, then it is called CSO4 2H2O. But when it is, there is no water molecule, then it is called gypsum anhydride, and the chemical formula is CSO4 only. Then carbonate. So it is a calcite, magnesite, and dolomite. So you can see that. It is a carbonate of calcium, then magnesium, and calcium magnesium carbonate, then sulfide, copper pyrite, and iron pyrite, then phosphate apatite. So you have to remember that apatite is the source of phosphorus in soil. Then halides, fluoride, calcium fluoride, and rock salt, halite, sodium chloride, and sulfite, potassium chloride. On the basis of the specific gravity, depending on chemical properties, minerals have different specific gravity. Based on specific gravity, mineral can be grouped into light mineral. The mineral having specific gravity less than 2.85 are called light mineral. That is, quartz, feldspar, and muscovite are the critical example of the light mineral. Then heavy minerals, the mineral having specific gravity greater than 2.85 are called heavy minerals. The examples are hematite, pyrite, limonite, augite, and olivine. Then silicate minerals, naturally occurring inorganic material, usually crystalline, found in soil. These are mostly newly formed crystal reform. From the soluble products of the primary mineral and considered secondary minerals, have a significant surface area. The clay fraction of the soil particle has a diameter less than 0.002 mm. The mineral present in clay fraction of the soil is called clay minerals. Clay minerals are the most important secondary minerals. They are colloidal and crystalline nature. They carry negative electric charge on the surface. Most of the physical, chemical, and morphological properties of soil are influenced by these clay minerals, and uh, it has been taken from the introduction to soil science, Indian Council of Agriculture for uh, B.Sc. Agriculture, I.C.R. for B.Sc. Agriculture ECOS. Then uh, you can see from internet also agrimoon.com.